what's up guys uh, welcome back to electric i'm really glad that you're watching now uh to, this panel is open and uh i want us uh to talk about bus bars and that's what i want to show you today maybe you've been hearing about bus bars and probably you know them but maybe you don't know how they work so this is what we're doing today so follow along with me now first uh we need to know why we need bus bars in the first place now in let, let me give you an example in your small room or in your small house or in your uh, your small two-bedroom house where you have got your consumer it, even if it's a bungalow where you have your consumer unit now uh, remember you have a cable that comes from your supply your supply transformer to to your house then goes to the your metering area then it then that cable the load cable goes to uh, to the consumer unit okay now from there in the consumer unit you have breakers all right you have breakers in there and then you have breakers according to your demand inside your house so in that in, in that consumer unit we have got a bar a one bar because it's a single phase so we have got one bar if it's a three phase um, uh, a consumer unit which of course they are there we will have three stripes of bars but let's take an example of a single phase where we have a bar there and we have linked breakers from that bar and then we connect the final circuits okay now in in a larger building there is no way you're going to be uh, linking maybe roping around uh from breaker to breaker from breaker to breaker uh, uh looping maybe i'll show you how to loop like this eh? so that's why in a large building you have to use bus bars and the bus bars will vary uh depends on the current that uh the building demands uh, the more the current, the bigger uh, the rating and the bigger in size of uh, the, the bus bars. Now, here in this very building we are in, it's a, a commercial building, uh, bigger. So, we have got bus bars here. We have three, of course, it's a three phase uh, power system. So, we have three we have red, we have uh, yellow, and blue. And then we have the other two that is neutral and earth. So from your supply transformer, now what happens from your supply transformer, uh, your cable will come to your incoming MCCB. You have an MCCB between the transformer and the bus bars. So now from the MCCB, that's when you bring your cables to the bus bar. Now when your current reach here, now you have your current in this cabin here. What you start doing is you'll get cables. Uh, for example, if you have a three phase meter, you'll have to link one, two, three phases three of them you connect your cable by use because you're seeing here bolts and nuts you have to fasten that rug because you you have to connect a, you of course you use a rug you know how to rug your cable uh, if you don't know uh, i will show you so you rug your cable and uh, you'll have three of them red yellow blue you connect on your bus bars and then they will go all the way either to the cutout or they will be going to a breaker, an MCB, another one, a smaller one. So from there, then to your meter. Remember, you cannot get power from here to your meter direct because remember, you could do it, but they are maintenance. And also, we don't want to discriminate. So that's why you have to put a breaker in the middle there, MCCB or a cutout. If it's a single phase meter, you'll have to get one phase of your choice, depending on how you're balancing your phases, then you get your neutral, and then you, the earth, then you take them. So in the larger building, that's what happens. Now, for example, if in this very cabin, that's where your meters are, you'll, you'll connect uh, all your cables, then they go to, to your braking area, where you put your MCB and then from there to your meters. Now from the meters, that's where you go for, to your final circuits. From the meters, you'll be going to, to those stores. For example, it's a commercial building where you have stores, shops, you know. So those cables, they'll run from your small power room or whatever, they'll run to that room there independently. If it's a three phase, they'll run uh, three wires and, uh, and a neutral. And then if it's a single phase, you will now be running two wires, a phase and a neutral, along with the earth. Mm -hmm. So uh, reaching there, you'll, that's when you put a consumer unit of now over the de de desired consumer unit. It, now it will depend on the uh, current rating of that shop or the demand of, of, of that client of particular uh, space. Okay. 
So there, there is no compressed uh, in, 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 in distribution of power inside uh, a building like this one. What you have to master is uh, the rating of all those things. You know, of course, if it is a commercial building, you know what will take care will take place in there. So, what you have to do is to know how to calculate your your current demand, so that you know the load cable. Now, you know the cable from between your your MCCB from the transformer MCCB between that main MCCB to your bus bus. Now, that cable there that will be you know taking all that the load, you know, you might size it correctly. Because if you don't, you'll be surprised. The sizing must be very correct and accurate. And then you must also, of course, put some torrents there, put allowance there, uh, inside there, because they are, you never know. So uh, the, the rating of that cable, the rating of the, the main MCB, MCCB, it will also, it, that very one also give you the rating of the bus bars. Okay, now from, from the bus bars, now it depends on the final circuit or on where that power is going. That's, that will give you the, the rating of the MCB that you're putting between the bus bar and the meter. Okay, so once you have all that, now you're good to go. Now, of course, the meter, you don't, you don't have to worry about the meter because uh, your your treat supply company will then ask you, uh, you know, your consumption, what you're going to be consuming, what you're going to be using. They'll based on that and then they'll give you the meter. Then they'll find you a good rating. That one shouldn't be a problem, okay? So from the meter, then after the meter, it's also advisable. It's good. You see, it's good to be neat and to you know to try to make all your work to be very simpler so always you have to put protection either way so remember between the bus band the meter we've put a cutout or an mcb so also after the meter you have to put one and then then you go to your consumer unit then to your consumer unit remember you size your consumer unit dependent on the need of that particular store or a shop okay so thank you very much for watching that has been it if you have any question about this please put it in the comment below and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like i also thank you uh, who subscribed already and also i thank you also for watching thank you very much and i'll see you in the next one